find the square roots of the following numbers. This property box on the right here um, shows what's going on in these ex examples. If we have a positive or a zero value inside the root for a, we will get a real number answer. If we have a negative value inside the root, we will not get a real number. So let's take a look. Root 25. Well, that equals 5 because 5 times 5 equals 25. All right, so the idea of a square root is you're always trying to find a number you multiply by itself to get the insides. Now, if we look at number 4, we've got a negative sign, but the negative sign is on the outside. So it doesn't affect what's happening with the root at all. We just carry the negative sign to the answer, and then we do root 49, that'd be 7, because 7 times 7, over root of 36 would be 6. So we get minus 7 6. And if we look down at the bottom here, number 6, now we have the root on the inside, I mean the negative sign on the inside, which is very important. That changes everything completely. This will be not a real number. And it's good to understand why, instead of just memorizing, that you can't have a negative inside a square root. So let's take a look. We're trying to find a number multiplied by itself that gives whatever's inside here. Well, for 64, we have two choices. We can do 8 times 8. That gives a positive 64. Well, what if we chose minus 8 times minus 8 to try to bring a minus sign in there? That doesn't work because minus times minus cancels out. It still gives us a positive. The only way to get the negative to come out is to have a positive times a negative. That gives us a negative 64, but those are not identical numbers. They're 8 and minus 8, and we have to have an identical number coming out of the square root. That's why you cannot have the square root of a negative real number.